Good Thursday morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, live and in color. And this is an it that doesn't give a, and that's some bananas. And that is olive oils, not needed, bra. At least that's what I think. Anyway, hey Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. It is 6.38 a.m. Right now in Burnett, it's 53 and clear. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 81 and a low of 53. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day today. I'm going to go play golf, or actually I'm going to go swing a golf club at a little round white ball, which is probably the silliest game in the world. But all games have a ball. I don't see any difference between football, basketball, baseball, and golf. They all got a silly ball, and they all do something silly with it. So, so we'll just do something silly with that little white ball and enjoy our day. It's going to be a beautiful day, 80 degrees in Central Texas. And it's going to be that way tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. And then Monday it cools down into the 60s and 40s. And that's about winter for Texas guys so far. I mean, but we'll see. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Not bad. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte, it's currently 17 degrees Fahrenheit. Cooling down a little bit there. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Denver, Colorado? The current temperature in Denver is 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey Google, tell us a joke. Parallel lines have so much in common, it's a shame they're never going to meet. One more. What is a balloon's least favorite kind of music? Pop. One more. How do bureaucrats wrap presents? With lots of red tape. Those endings are so weird, man. But anyway, guys, we got a few, a few. I got a lot of comments, <clears throat> and uh, life's good, so I'm not complaining. Mike Brandenburg says, "Rusty, give us some tips. Rusty, give us some tips every day on how not to die. That would be interesting." Well, actually, uh, you know, one tip is just up and up, just refuse, just don't do it, just. When the Grim Reaper shows up, tell him to get the hell out. That's one. You know, and other than that, there's some foods you can eat that really help, that are really good for you, but most of us already know that anyway. Broccoli uh, is great for you, you know, once a day, but not too much because it'll, it'll give you gas. I mean, yeah, it'll gas you up a little bit. But yeah, just a, just a small serving of broccoli is good for you. Uh, blueberries are good for you. Walnuts, you know, eat some nuts are uh, good for you, but uh, that's the uh, tips for today then. Uh, Tracy Phillips, <clears throat> great living quarters, Rusty. You're getting organized. Well, I'm trying to. I have to tell you that. Crazy Lady says, Rusty, those little hooks work well to hold up reflectix, insulation, and casitas to hold in heat in cold areas like a New Mexico snowstorm. Just did exactly that at my daughter's. Your shower curtain looks like you have diamonds when the light showed through it. Great tips. Yeah, those, I got diamonds everywhere. <clears throat> you believe that? Hey, Rusty, just curious, how does it feel to inspire the world? Uh, if it was true, it'd be good, but I don't think I inspire uh, many people. It, but, it, but even if I did, I hope I'm inspiring them in the right direction. I mean, you know, enjoy your life. Uh, this is Santa Fe Faves. We can see the reflected light from the Google screen changing the color on your face. <laughs> That's interesting. Didn't know it did that. Uh, thanks for mentioning, uh, I guess, well it does, maybe it does. Thanks for mentioning the book by Dr. Greger. I believe it is very good for us to eat healthier. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 that's one way to stay healthy is eat right. Or just eat some things that are good for your body, you know, not junk food all the time. <clears throat> Dixo Tube says, hey Rusty, how many times do you swivel per day? Uh, right now I'm just under 100,000. Are over 100,000. I'm working up to a million uh, swivels per day. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. You see what I mean? 
Yeah, swiveling a uh, hundred thousand times a day will wear you out. But little T08 says Rusty is oh Rusty is old school. I like that. Nice pillow. What is the name? I might buy me one. Um, let me see if I can tell you. Uh, you go to Amazon. I'll leave you a link here in a minute. You, and, and the name of the company is Comfort and Relax. They sent them to me for free to uh, do a review on, and they're very good pillows. They're memory foam, but they're called uh, Comfort and Relax. That's uh, it's obviously Chinese. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can leave you a link here later today. Uh, -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, the Casi oh, here's little T08. The Casita very well sealed from outside temperature. It is very well sealed. It, no, it's fine. It, it, I can heat it very well with my little Pilonis heater on low. Works fine. Ionic Dinosaur. I was born here. That was in Carlsbad, New Mexico, a video I did. Tim Harris. Rusty, do you not like the east? Maybe Georgia. Uh, I, I don't like to go east of the Mississippi uh, for several reasons, but one of them is it's, it's more congested. There's more population in that area of, of the United States. Uh, the roads, highways are not really all that good, and they're usually pretty crowded. And uh, but I stayed uh, nearly uh, at, uh, near Atlanta, Georgia, for about three months one time. Uh, I was in Cumming, Georgia, at RV park. And uh, yeah, it was it's okay, but it's just you know around, of course, near Atlanta, the traffic is horrible. And in, in Atlanta, good God! But anyway, no, I, I, don't, I it's not that I don't like the East. Uh, it's uh, I, I, I like places that are wide open. You know what I mean? I, I like you know, little traffic, little towns, and not many of those. <clears throat> Roger St. Martin, I bet that's the first time you had 20,000 people in your shower. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. Good point. Uh, this is R.B. Tyson. Hey, Rusty. Do you have a water well or do you have a water service there? Thumbs up. Thumbs up to you. Uh, we have a community water service, but there are a number of people in this area that have water wells, so it's kind of up to you. A water well in this area costs you anywhere between five and 10000 just depending on how deep they have to go and how much granite they have to drill through. <clears throat> this is full of grace, full of grace. Uh, anyway, left a long comment. I'll read part of it. I'll read a couple of sentences. It says, yep. That's what I did at age 62, downsized, got a mobile home, 900 square feet, but got a job at 64 and worked 10 years. I did enjoy that and had fun being with people. Uh, and then anyway, <clears throat> yeah, downsizing is not easy and, uh, you know, uh, do what you want to do. You, you, I'm not suggesting that you downsize. I'm just saying for me, it works okay. You do what you do. Amblades, this vid was on the Google heading again. It was number seven from the top, two thumbs up. I don't know what that means. I, uh, I, I don't even Google heading again. I, I haven't, uh, anyway, if, just hope it gets some views. That's all, yeah, that was on the tips. Uh, Carmen Thompson says, great tips, old man. Old oh, man, thank you, Larry. There's a good start for you. Love your channel, thank you, Carmen. <clears throat> old man. Yeah, in fact, I, I watched a video, somebody mentioned my name, and uh, they said, yeah, Rusty78609, it's just a YouTube channel, this old man living in an RV. <laughs> you don't realize how other people are thinking about you, but anyway, I don't care. I am an old man living in an RV. This is a Casita, by the way, a 2019. It's a 17-footer, but you've only got 14 feet inside. 14 by 6 by 6. <clears throat> the Tuck. Taco Madam, 18. How's Jason like the old Miss Google? I haven't given it to him yet, but I, the next time I see him, I will. I might. I might not. Yeah, I'm not sure about it yet. I, I don't know. If he hasn't bought one, then I'm not sure I want to in, 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 introduce this into his life. Let him do what he wants to do. He's got the money. Also, do you know how John's making out in your old RV? He's out in Midland, Texas. I, I think he's got a job. And uh, so far, so good. I get a text from him every now and then. Seems to be doing fine. J Jody Crawford, thanks for the info, Rusty. You're welcome. Uh, I see you, 812. Uh, Rusty, your two white pillows look thick and firm. What kind are they, and where did you buy them? They're memory foam, uh, and they're called Comfort and... Shit. What? Comfort and... <clears throat> Well, I'll have to get it. Uh, comfort and relax. Yeah, 
Comfort and Relax. Go to Amazon, key in Comfort and Relax, and they make several different types of uh, memory foam pillows. They're about 40 bucks. Uh, nice, uh, this is Jim Anderson. Nice overview. You're a minimalist, minimalist who knows how to enjoy all of its aspects. A small RV being one of them. Well, you know, you call me a minimalist, you know, and, that, and that's a good label, I guess. But actually, I'm just a little uh, low on the income scale. And I, I have to keep things uh, a little in, uh, in perspective. You know what I mean? Amish Sailor, do you ever vacuum the carpeting on the walls of your casita? I will. Uh, it, I will every six months. I'm, I'm going to uh, uh, do, do a vacuum of the, uh, of the walls. <clears throat> I've got it on my calendar. Dennis Spark, because I read on, I went on the Casita forum and checked it out, and it seemed like some people just do it once a year. But, uh, you know, well, I guess it depends on where you're living, too. If you're living in a dusty area or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I'll do it every six months, or, or I do, I'll do it as needed, let me say that. Uh, Denise's Sparkles and, and Crafts. Uh, got a long comment, I'll read part of it. Hello, Rusty, this is Denise from Arizona. Hello, Denise from Arizona. I am a new subby to your channel. Welcome to the channel. Welcome. My hubby and I are in the beginning stages of downsizing and I really did not realize how much you really accumulate in a house. Yikes. Well, I, I'm telling you, you don't realize till you start to move all that stuff. I'll tell you. I do have a question for you. My hubby is going to be 68 in March and I just turned 45. He robbed the cradle and I robbed the grave. He likes to say ha ha. But just celebrated our 19th anniversary, and he's the type of person that has zero nomad style running through his entire body. Got a long, This is a long comment. I may have to stop this. <clears throat> What's the question? Uh, anyway, let me come back to you later on this one, Dennis. You've got a long comment here. And we'll, we'll, I'll answer your question, but it'll probably be this afternoon. Thank you. Uh, Thomas Duck, why would the manufacturer put the shuttle are right next to the 30 amp plug but just don't make good sense uh, I don't know Thomas why don't you call them and ask them <clears throat> uh, Lazarus live this is on the tiny home uses cedar for walls actually that's the pine uh, and then the next guy the all of them think it's too expensive this is it is me again too expensive on the little it's a storage building made by Dirksen Storage Buildings, and you can have it finished out any way you want it. And this one just happened to be their max unit, and it's thirty-five thousand, <clears throat> and that is a little pricey. Uh, however, you can you know you can have it finished any way you want. I mentioned that in the video a few times, but nobody hears it. Uh, Vicky Thompson, uh, move the towel bar to the top of the bathroom door, then you won't be bumping into it all the time. Another casita owner. Actually, I don't have to move it at all because I don't shut the door. Oh, yeah, that's another. Yeah, that is a good point. I could move it all the way up. I may do that. Good point. Good thinking, old casita owner. I may do that. Uh, Swiveller in training. Where did your little round mirrors go? Adios. They went to place. They went to the place where little round mirrors go. They were behind your head in the other vids you did in the Coleman Clipper you had. Uh, <clears throat> and then he also says, interesting, so is that so is that carpet all along the whole inside of the walls and ceiling? Nice tip. Yeah, there's 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 carpet on the ceiling and the walls in the casita. Yes, there is. He says those were good ideas. Well I'm glad you thought so. Uh, Lisa Bar Bartlett loved your comment on medications. Well, I, I what, they must tell him what I said. I don't take any, and I really, I, I don't, uh, I don't ever plan to. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people always are, are seeking symptomatic relief. If they have a runny nose, they want to get something to dry it up. Uh, or if they have itchy eyes, they want something to stop that. And if they have a little cough or whatever, they want to stop it with, sym with symptomatic relief. Well, you know, that's your body actually uh, trying to adjust to something that's invading your body and, and your body will take care of it. Just let it go. But anyway, having said that, Scotty Thompson, cool comment call. Uh, Scotty Thompson says, I don't do online shopping, just buy stuff in the store. Okay. Uh, Scotty Thompson, cool video, Rusty. We got about three or four more and we'll shut her down because I'm going to go play golf. 
And anyway, Joris Barnett. Rusty, great tips on the little things. Have a great day. Yeah, that's something I'll mention to you again, is whenever you get an RV or get into any kind of new living position, whether it's an apartment, home, or whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, once you get in, you know, then you begin to tweak it. You know what I mean? To, to refine it, you know, to get the little things that irritate you, get those fixed. And, and that's what makes it really a, a home, is when you get all that stuff squared away and, and it's just the way you want it. You know what I mean? And then you can always continue to tweak it as you go along. This is Elisa again. Uh, might the change in lighting on your YouTube video be coming from Google's changing scene? Oh, I'm sure it is, I, I guess. Uh, especially when it goes from a dark scene to a lighter one or the reverse. Uh, but that, I, whatever it does, it does, and I'm not gonna worry about it, Lisa. I, I don't care if my face is orange, red, or white. You know, it don't bother me five cents. <laughs> Anyway, Lisa says she's read a few books on nutrition. Uh, it says it's often forgotten each body has its own needs that don't always fit one trend. Uh, yeah, that's true. It says on the Greek temple at Delphi, it says know thyself. And that's a very true statement. You know, know you. Don't worry about the other folks. you got to know who you are and what you need. But anyway, guys, uh, from Central Texas here, this is, hey, hey, Google, tell us a joke. How do you get over a fear of elevators? Just take some steps to avoid them. Now that's a dadgum good point for not for exercise and everything. Thank you. But anyway, uh, I'm going to punch this button. I may have to shoot this thing to shut it up. But it says random fun. The wheel of fun I just spun was kind of terse, but it's said to give you a haiku. The Lamp Wants Out by Natsumi Soseki. The Lamp Wants Out. Cool stars enter the window frame. No. That's enough of that. I, I didn't understand that. <clears throat> anyway, having said that, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you one penny. Some of you are and some of you have, and I appreciate that very much. Yeah, I see my face going orange, and then it doesn't matter to me, hell. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, uh, use the Amazon link if you think about it. I appreciate it. And what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day uh, won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stone. It'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water, and you won't want to snack so much. Okay, what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deep, hold it for a few seconds, and breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You know it is. What else? Uh, uh, stretch, 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 swivel, 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 and walk, you know, do all that stuff. I'm going to play golf today, so that'll be quite a bit, that'd be a good exercise. And uh, what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Oh, oh, did I say take deep breaths? Yeah, I did. Uh, uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. You know what I mean? You know, this is all yours up here. And, uh, you know, guard it. You know, uh, try to think positive. You know, accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative and enjoy your day. Enjoy life one day at a time, guys. And we'll talk again later. I've got a, uh, some, a video done that I'll post later. And so y'all enjoy your day. I'll try to enjoy mine. It's going to be in the 80s here. Can't beat it. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.